Hey guys, and welcome back to day 24 of Apollyon's single slash server player series. Today I'm going to probably finish up my AE system. Um, my first, the first thing I really want to get done is making uh, an auto crafting, make it, making it able to auto craft. And to auto craft, you need an ME assembler, uh, assembler wall, uh, containment wall, you need the heat vents, and then you need some of the processors the crafting cpu and then the crafting storage i'm not really sure what that's called anymore um but anywho uh you can make them it's got to be i think it's got to be square i've never actually tried to make anything that wasn't square but basically um you you i'm gonna make a five by five square i hope um that's gonna mean and they have to be in a specific shape. So I'm going to make 71 of these. 64. 6. 70. 1. Okay. So then I'm going to make the heat vents. Which I'm going to need... Uh, 54 of, uh, 54. All right, so there's 54 of those. And then I'm going to need some of these crafting CPUs, hmm, which use advanced processors. So the inside diameter is going to be 27. So I'm going to need a combination of, um, crafting CPUs and then the thing that the pattern storage pattern provider might be what I need and these require the diamond ones as well so I'm gonna to need to make 27 diamond ones <laughs> 202 diamonds uh, I went back and moved my quarry around again and then uh, did the f a full-sized one and let it go um, I didn't have any problems and I mean I kind of I kind of got close to filling some of these up but I think that for the most part I did pretty good. This one still doesn't have anything on it, and I got a lot of materials out of it, so I'm happy. I'm happy. So, I need some of these. And I have one of those, I think, but I'm going to make a couple more. So, I need 27 of these guys. So, alright, I'm back. I'm just going to cook these guys up real quick. And I already put nine in here, so now I should be able to make some. I'm actually going to make, I'm going to start off by making, I think, well, I need to make these. Oh, so I'm going to put like four or five of these in there. I'll put nine of them in there. Why not? So I need to make nine of these. Nine. Oh, I need to make 18 of those, sorry. Because I need them for each side. So let me go run down and shove those in here now. And... I put... Uh, I just hooked my system up to here. I, I had it all set up down there, and I thought I was going to have to leave it like that. And I was like, oh, wait, I have an idea. I could just use that same import uh, pipe that I was using and just shove uh, one of my chests on here. And uh, I did the same over here, because I, I kind of like the way you can see through these. just figured it'd be one added bonus. So I might not... I'm definitely going to mess with the stuff down there as far as, like, uh, as far as using... Because I need to set up these machines to to be able to use the AE, so I'm probably going to end up, like, changing all of this stuff anyway, but I just thought it was fun, or easy for now to do it, so I didn't have to, um, keep watching it, and I could reset my, uh, quarry. Alrighty, so, we have all of these, now we need, uh, I think that's it, so I should be able to make a whole bunch of these, I think I need 18 of them. Oh, I need more Fluix dust. 
Okay, so what I am going to do is make the heating vents. So I'm going to want 18 of these. No. I want, yeah, 18. So grab these real quick. I think this is this controls the speed at which they produce. Okay, so 18 of those. All right, so I'll just make all of those. So I need two more of these. I have a hard time. Oh, I need those two. So I need one, two. No, I need this storage bus. I'm going to need nine of them. Ooh, I had enough of those. Alrighty, so I'll put all this stuff back in there and make me. Oops, some of these. Nine. And go. Nine. Alrighty. Okay. So the next thing I need to do is figure out exactly where I want to put this. <clears throat> it needs to be connected with the cables to it, so... Alrighty, uh, I think that I figured out how I want to run this. Uh, I decided I'm going to come down here and then connect it this way. Through here and into this little room here. Uh, it's going to be specifically for this. Uh, I might put the controller down here eventually actually too. Because I, I have access to uh, power right here. So I think that that is going to be what I do. So anyhow, to get started you need to make um, your basically shape. Um, I think it can be any shape as long as you follow this kind of pattern. So you want to take and make the outsides out of this um, containment wall, I think. And then, so you have to make your structure, mine's going to be 5x5 five five, like I said. And then once you connect all of these, you fill it in with the heat sink shields like so and this inside will be filled with those uh, microprocessors and then the uh, pattern storage uh, like I had showed you oh I missed some and apparently my counting was way off for these I forgot to subtract the inside. <laughs> I'm a little slow. In. So it doesn't matter how you put these in here. So I'm just going to put them in the back. Oops. fill it in with these nine and it should all connect together and look like a one normal block and now there it is so now you have an ME controller with nine slots to add items to alrighty I got some more dust and now a pattern encoder what a pattern encoder does I'm gonna actually put it down here So what the pattern encoder does is allows you to encode a pattern, uh, right? I'm trying to decide how I want to do this. So you need blank patterns. And to get a blank pattern, it's basically this shape. So the first thing you want to do honestly is make that blank pattern with the first blank pattern you do 
because that's going to be the most used thing you do here. So I'm gonna actually gonna grab like a few of them. All right, so to make patterns down here, um, they just changed it. The best, uh, one of the better things is you can now shift click into here and you click encode and now you have this. So what that means is I can put this in here and when I go up here, it'll show me craftable items. See, you can craft the blank pattern. So I can request like 20 of these and it will create them. It creates them fast because it, the faster, the more processors you put in there, the faster it goes. So now we have 20 of these. All right, one of the things that I want to make is an ME storage bus. What an ME storage bus does is it allows your system to have access to anything that it's connected to, like a chest or a um, barrel. And this barrel is, I made this room over here because it had this line running against it. And I'm going to put the auto, like... I'm going to basically put some more of these uh, type of appliances over there. And this barrel has the rubber in it, and I need a whole bunch of rubber to do that. And if I hook this up here, and then wrench it up. run this along here. I now should have access to rubber. 157 of them. Oh. So yeah, you have... Alright, so it won't show you every single one. It'll just allow you to keep taking it out. That's kind of cool, actually. Um, I guess I didn't really understand how that worked. The first thing that I actually taught my system was these upgrades because I need two of them per machine. So I'm going to craft two of them or try to. And because some of the stuff requires other plates and things, I actually need to make a crafting monitor what this does is show you what is sitting in your oh. it'll show you what's sitting and waiting on it so right now I'm waiting on iron plates to make these two things so I need to grab some iron and throw it in this metal former. I'm actually going to put a metal former down in the basement so that I can do... I need two of them, so I'm just going to take... I think I'm going to take this one downstairs also. Maybe I'll just make another one. I think I'll make another one, actually. I have two of them. Alrighty, so now that this metal former... I'm actually going to break... Uh, make sure that you break your power when you do it, because what can happen... Uh, I'm actually going to go grab um, a cover, but what can happen is, as soon as you plug it on, it's going to try and use the 512 uh, that it's available, and that's not going to be good. Not going to be good at all. Because it'll just blow up the machine, and... Uh, it's it's kind of a pain in the butt to make some of these machines, so you really don't want to like waste your time. I guess we can see if it covers these up too. It does not look like they are multi parts, or at least not set up to be multi parts. So that is kind of a bummer. I'm actually gonna put it down here. Right here. 
and then put these in there and leave it in extruding mode. Uh, I'm okay with leaving it off there for now. So, <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, let me make another one of these because I want one for extruding mode and then one for rolling mode um, so that I can make all the different stuff that I need to make with it. An ME interface. Where is it? Right here. So I'm going to need this. Wow. Okay, I need this one. ME interface. I'm going to need this one. Uh. Oops. And that one. Alrighty. So now I should be able to, in theory, make the I have two of them already that's all I needed anyway okay so this is no longer needed neither is this okay so what you do I think is you put these ME interfaces on here and they will connect and then with the ME interface you can say two bronze castings one iron plate and now you're able to request these from down here I've created all of these the cans and the, the wires and stuff and a few of these so now I can create the cans but what I need to do with the cans is fill them so I need to, well, let's go in here. Uh, what are they called? Let's do the... The reason I'm doing this is because I want to make this overclocker upgrade. And to make this overclocker upgrade, you need to be able to make these 10K coolant cells. And to make the 10K coolant cell, you have to combine... A... I think you can just do it in a fluid transposer, but now I'm not 100% sure. So, I guess my options are I don't know. Yeah, see, I think that you can do it in a fluid transposer. So, what I'm going to do is set up a um, no, I want to set up an aqueous Accumulator. I should be able to make all of this stuff. Whoa. Okay. Oh, I definitely don't want to make it out of steel. Right, let's do that again. This one. I don't care. So we got that. Then we got this. I also don't care. Now we need a bucket. I think we have enough buckets, so let's throw these in here. Aqueous accumulator, go. Alrighty, so now I'm going to grab a bucket. Actually, I'm going to make another bucket here and fill this in, fill this in. And put this here. Now I need to go get some fluid duct. I don't care. I'll just use some of these. And then I'm going to put the fluid transposer right here. So we have this doohickey coming into the back. 
of the fluid transposer. So now this is getting water and it should be full and this is how you fill it. So I want the top I think that I can input from the front. So I'm gonna I'm gonna need to make another one of the ME interface. Create one ME cable, and I think that's enough, hopefully. So now I can put this here. And then run this. I'm actually going to run it up here for now because I don't have enough. Wow, that's really poorly. <laughs> My direction skills are on par. Okay, so now what I want to do is grab. Boy. So let me make another. Where are the cans? Oh, what are they? Empty cell. So an empty cell. Clear. An empty cell makes. A full cell. Full cell in code. And put that here. So now I can make these cells. Water cell. And then I think that that is what this guy needs. And he sure does. No, he doesn't. <laughs> okay. So, a water cell surrounded by iron plates. No. It is a water 10k cooling cell. Tin plates. Okay. So, I need tin plates. I'm going to throw them in here real quick. Oh! No! No! So fast it went. So fast! <laughs> Alright, so now I have a whole bunch of tin plates. So, tin plates... You take down here, and then you put them in this guy with this pattern and in code. So now I have the encoded pattern craft one 10k coolant cell. So now I can go, and because I already have all the other stuff in there, I can just grab this encode and throw that in there. And this should result in, I want to make 10 of them, I'm going to make 20 of them. So I should be able to make 20 of these. And it is waiting on 10 plates because they're all in my inventory. And now my wrench is in there. Alright, so now, uh, now it is waiting on a water cell. So the water cell is probably being smooshed. So it's making some tin plates. Oh, I forgot to put those in there. Wait, I can do this. Ready? You could anything you put in here will get sucked into the into the inventory. 
So now, oh, that's the other thing that you need to do. Actually, I'm going to, for these ones, I'm going to make them auto-eject into the top. So all I need is the one. Um, you've seen me make that auto-ejector. I think it's pretty simple. So let me see real quick. So, no, we got to put it up here. Auto ejector. Yeah. What was the things on the side? What was they? I don't have any of these, so. Uh. Okay, so auto ejector. Silly me. It's always up here. It's hard to see. A U T O. Auto ejector. So I have one still. Okay, so now I need to make a second one. Alright, so, and for these, I want to have them come out the top. So I wonder. I'm just going to do this and this. Okay, so. What this is going to do is eliminate the need to have another connection to this. So when I go back, I should have all 10. I don't think I should have all 10, right? It's got to be waiting on something. Water cell. So it is waiting on the water cell, which should be... Oh. Yep, yeah, because this guy should have a, a water cell in him, or he's going to have a water cell in him. Unfortunately, I wonder if I can. Huh. Nope, it looks like I have to have the input be that way, so... If I wanted to, I could probably make the it just loop around. Um, but I think I'm just going to make it a basic import. I'll make a basic import pipe. So these go in here. I also need one of these. Alright, so this is going to continuously make these for me. And it should be golden now. So, these should be filling. So it's making those. It's waiting on some of that stuff down there, so I'm going to grab some copper. And just make some wire real quick. Because I want it to be faster. I want to be about this fast, so I need it to, to go pretty quick. Actually, I could probably throw them down there. So throw these in here. Uh, I'll just split them up. So which one is going? This one is currently going. Alright, this one is not doing anything. So you can see how this would save you some time, right? So I'm going to get a fluid transposer for each of the types of fluids. Um... Uh, what I mean by that is uh, I'm going to get one for redstone, for uh, glowstone, and for 
something else for I don't know I think I'm gonna put some uh, ender enderman pearl thingies in there so right now it's waiting on the tin plates so did I make another one two more I'll stick those in here. Oh, it's waiting on this guy to make tin plates. Alright, so I'm going to wait for these to finish, and now you see how it's working, and it's making them, so I can upgrade all of my machines pretty easily. I think that's pretty impressive. I like it. I'm actually going to run this probably this way. I don't know how many machines I need. I'm definitely going to put some... Uh, I think I'm going to put some of the... Actually, I don't want it to be like that. I think I'm going to put the furnaces right here. Uh, but I have to downgrade them so they're not good. Because they can't run on the 512 or whatever this is outputting. Uh, so I need to downgrade them to to work there. But The one thing I forgot to mention is you need to control the direction of these. Because they can potentially uh, interact with other things. But I also hooked up a macerator down here. And I need to set some of the stuff up that gets macerated, but uh, I think I've wrapped uh, or hit a good stopping point for the day. And uh, this is Apollyon saying, see you tomorrow.